coming into this Leeds game this weekend, they're coming off the back of a, a disappointing loss against Harrogate. What's it been like this week at the training ground? To be fair, it's been pretty positive. You know, we, we looked at the Harlequins game, and other than the first six minutes, which I think was uh, we were definitely not on the ball for. Um, the rest of the game was pretty good. Scored three tries, and you know, quizzing it too close to our line again. In that respect, looking forward to the Leeds game, we're looking to you know come out, try and score three more tries like like we did last weekend, and uh, you know try and nil them. I mean, last year we were very disappointed to lose to them twice, um, and that was one of the reasons why we didn't finish in the top four last year. So, you know, we'll be pretty keen for them not to spoil our party this year and you know, prevent us from qualifying for the Heineken Cup. We're still on for the Heineken Cup if we can win our remaining games. Um, obviously, they've got a lot to play for as well, so, you know, it's going to be a big fixture both teams and um, there's going to be some desperate men out there trying to win the game. Home ground is you know, almost like a fortress and it, you know, we've got the support there which is what we like. You wouldn't want to be uh, playing at home and not having much, too much support but luckily for us you know, Wasp has definitely put the support down at Ellis Park. You know, you're getting towards the end of the season, we've got a small squad and it's a question of uh, who's almost who's fit at this point. You know, we've had quite a lot of injuries but we've still got some great players playing, you know, a few coming in this week. Which, you know, are very exciting and looking forward to seeing what they can do. The big day, St George's Day at Twickenham. We got everything right last year except the result. Hopefully yeah. we'll get it right this time. Well, I mean, yeah, it was a, a great occasion. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed, you know, the pre-match, uh, the after-match, everything apart from, you know, the sort of 80 minutes where we just didn't turn up really. But, you know, I think, you know, I don't know if we were rattled by the occasion, but I mean, I'd like to think we've got people who are more experienced, you know, than that, and who don't come rattled by a big day, you know, lots of international. So everyone should be able to cope with the situation. I think it was just one of those, one of those days where things just didn't go right for us, and they seem to play out of their skins. Um, you know, this year's a new game, and um, I'm sure we'll be able to uh, put in a better performance, and um, you know, we'd love to get a win on the, on the big stage there. You know, Twickenham's one of those stadiums that attracts a lot of people and you know, we hope to be able to attract a lot of people with the type of rugby that we would like to play and, and Bath are playing at the moment. It's, it is a crunch game for both teams for uh, Heineken Cup next year qualification, you know, with them just being just in front of us at the moment. You know, it's all up for grabs at the moment. It's always tight every year. There's a lot of teams, all, you know, similar number of points. And I mean, it comes every year, you know, it seems to come down to the last game and, you know, there's something riding on every fixture, you know, you very rarely see a dead rubber um, in the Premiership and, you know, that's why it's such a great league to play in. Um, you know, this is going to be the same sort of situation again this year. Now, a little bird tells me that large numbers of WASP players have signed up to Twitter, but you have so far resisted the temptation. Are you a miserable old git? No, I just sort of feel that the supporters or whoever would follow me on Twitter wouldn't want to be hearing about, you know, this. Uh, changing nappies and you know warming up bottles of milk and whatnot, which is basically what my life consists of. Once I go home from rugby, you know, I've got a little girl. I just don't have time, to be honest, to be filling people in on what I've got going on in my life. So um, I'll have a think about it, and you know, if I start doing some really interesting stuff, I'll let everyone know. But at the moment, it's not really all that riveting.